And we're back doing some more comfort baking because I can't think of anything better to spend my time doing. It's like Netflix and chill, but it's stay home and bake, right? I got my coffee, I got all my ingredients, and today we are going to be testing out the tasty four hour cinnamon roll versus the four minute cinnamon roll. And you may be asking yourself, why Rachel? Why didn't you include the 40 minute cinnamon roll? There are three and the reason quite frankly, is because it looked boring. It just kind of looked like a standard run of the mill recipe for a cinnamon roll. And so I felt like there wasn't really a lot that I would be testing in that sense. But Chris found a recipe for a traditional Finnish cinnamon roll that he wants to test out. So we're going to be incorporating that into this. So it's a four hour Finnish and four minute cinnamon roll extravaganza. And you guys know the drill, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. We do a lot of baking here. Also drink a lot of coffee. That Dalgona coffee though, I have instant coffee on my grocery pickup. It's just, I can't get it for two weeks. So soon, soon Dalgona, you will be mine. It's okay, such is life right now. Instead I have delicious Americano that I am going to sip and enjoy whilst we make these beautiful cinnamon rolls. So let's get into it. And the first one we are going to make is the four hour giant banana cinnamon roll, but not so giant that it ends up on the floor. Chris and I differ on our um, first impression of looking at the recipe. I was showing it to him and I was like, mm, banana, don't know how I feel about banana in my cinnamon roll, right? Is that just me? But Chris is really stoked about this. He thinks that the banana is going to be fantastic in the cinnamon roll. So let's get this started, shall we? Because um, this coffee's gonna wear off soon and I am sleepy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the yeasties kind of activated, get them going. So I'm going to take my two cups of whole milk, very carefully, and I'm just gonna pop it into the microwave just so it's warm to the touch. I don't want it scalding hot, but I don't want it cold. I don't have a name for my microwave yet. I feel like we need to come up with one. Really like these, um, these leggings. They have pockets and they're very warmies on the inside. They're like a little bit fleecy. All right, so I have the milk here. Is at 107 and they want between 100 and 110 degrees, so we good. So I'm gonna take the two cups of milk as well as the one stick of unsalted butter, melted, and then half of a cup of sugar. Now I'm gonna sprinkle these evenly over top of the mixture and they should sit here until they, until they start to foam. And now that it's gotten nice and foamy, we're gonna add in four cups of flour and we're just going to fold it with a rubber spatula. And this is just going to be until combined. And once this is all in, we're going to let it rest for an hour because, you know, diva dough till it doubles in volume. We want the big dough. There she is. See you in an hour, dough. And while the dough is rising, I just made the banana filling over on the stove, just chopped up three bananas. Then to a pan, it added half a stick of unsalted butter, half a cup of brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and a full tablespoon of cinnamon. You can see here, I, I had to double check that because that felt like a lot. I sauteed it in there for about five minutes, and now it is over on the side to cool. Look at this. Oh, I'm so proud of her. She got so big. We're gonna add in a three quarter cup of flour, two teaspoons of kosher salt, as well as a teaspoon of baking powder. I gotta roll up my sleeves to this one. It says to stir it well, but I'm just gonna, just gonna use my hands here. Oh, this is so fun. I always forget how fun dough is. Turn it out onto this cutting board here. I'm just gonna sit here and knead this until everything is incorporated and I get a nice dough ball, I guess. And I remember from another recipe and I don't remember which recipe it was. Does anyone remember? Oh, it was the pizza. They said to set a timer for 10 minutes. I had to knead the dough for a while. So I'm gonna follow the same principle here. Ooh, she's still a little sticky. It's a good time for me to pull back my hair. Ooh, scrunchie, you'll do. Ooh, she a fancy scrunchie. Velvet. Oh, I don't know why I did it this way. I regret everything. Okay, I'm kind of proud of myself. I did not spill any anywhere. I don't know why I didn't do it this way. I mean, smart people just bring over this, this whole canister, but um, I want to make it difficult for myself. So has anyone else been doing a lot of baking? 
This is just me. We've been making muffins, cookies, bread. Doing a lot around here. Oh, got flour all over myself. It's fine. I feel like I've been here as long as March has been. I am determined to get good gluten development. There is something very strangely relaxing about this. Very much enjoying myself at the same time. Get all the days frustrations out. In case anyone's wondering, in classic form, it is 7.30. So you know Chris and I are gonna be up baking until late into the night. I always have the best intentions to, uh, to be ready and done filming by dinner and the day always gets away from me, especially right now. So give myself a little bit of leniency there. All right, now I'm going to flour up the surface a little bit and start rolling her out. We wanna get like a, basically the size of this cutting board actually, kind of a, a rectangular shape. I'm always so jealous of everyone who can get that like perfect shape for their dough, you know? I feel like mine, she's uh, just looking more oval. All right, I'm trying to make this as rectangular as possible. It's not cooperating. She her own woman. Now I feel like that's like, you know, it's pretty good. I'm gonna take my filling here. Ooh. Ah, I know, I know, I know. Now, to me, this belongs in a banana bread, not in a cinnamon roll, but I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try it. I am curious, because it does smell really good. And we're just going to spread this out over the entire length of the dough. You gotta get all the way to the edge. Don't want any part not to have any banana on it. Ooh. Okay, now I'm just painting. Not actually accomplishing anything, but I'm having fun. Okay, how big of a pan do I need for this? A 10 inch cast iron, okay. Forgot to get my pan ready first. Make sure you do that in advance. Gotta butter her up. You like a pan, should have put some butter on it. Oh, 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 oh. And can you imagine if TikTok was around when that song came out? That dance would have been everywhere. Okay. Now, we're going to cut it. I need a pizza cutter. I mean, I guess I could just use a knife. It's just like, it looks more fun with the pizza cutter. And if we're gonna make dough and I'm gonna make cinnamon rolls, I'm gonna have fun, okay? Ha! Found it. So what we are going to do is we are going to cut this in half this way. Ooh, here comes my terrible skills of making things super straight. And then we're gonna cut each of these in half again. I'm full on expecting to just end up at the center line again, because I cannot cut straight. Do not trust me to cut anything straight. Won't happen, you'll be sad, I'll be sad. Not bad. Now what we get to do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna roll it, we're gonna put it in this one, and we're gonna roll that, and we're gonna keep going until we have a big, huge cinnamon roll. Wonder how tightly I need to roll this. Show me Alex. Okay, so she's, all she's doing is she is rolling it as tightly as she can all the way across. And then she's picking it up, putting it in the next one, and rolling that one the other way. Ooh, my, uh, Slices were not even <laughs> trying to like smush it together. <laughs> it's fine, it's a cinnamon roll. One's the prettier side. That one's the prettier side. <sighs> ah. And then we're gonna transfer it. <clears throat> Sorry, that moved very quickly. Now I need to cover this and let this hang out and kind of expand out to the sides of the cast iron um, for about half an hour. I'm gonna cover this up go get Chris. My finishes. Oh. I'm Dan. <laughs> Here, put this in the fridge. I have flour all over myself. Okay, so you are making finished cinnamon rolls. Finished cinnamon rolls. Corva pusti. Yes. Yeah. Sure, sure. Mita cool. I don't know what any of that means. What's the difference between this and the tasty cinnamon roll? 
I don't know that one very well. The main difference between a finished cinnamon roll and the other ones that I've seen is the cardamom. And that's, uh, that. Ooh. Yeah. It's strong, but it almost is faintly sweet. You could see it working with cinnamon, right? Yeah. yeah. Like this feels like it belongs in pumpkin spice mix. Yeah, it's a very warm spice. Feel weird being on this side of you. Right, yeah, I feel this like is like I'm side. always on this side. <laughs> What's pearl sugar? Um, it's just clumps of sugar. So I got sugar cubes and smashed them up. Noise. Yeah. Yeah, that's the other big difference. There's no icing on finished cinnamon rolls. Um, it's just dotted with clumps of sugar on top. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. And we'll find out. We'll put them in presents and we'll stick them on our family's doorsteps exactly. and run away. And is this normal flour or bread flour? This is bread flour. Apparently it will work with regular uh, all-purpose, but better with bread. We're just going to need this and then I'll be back in like 15 for the rest of mine. Perfect. Good timing. Yeah. Okay, we're back. Kind of. Chris has rolled out the dough and added the filling. It's a pretty traditional filling, right? The filling? Yeah. Yeah. Just butter and uh, cinnamon and sugar. And then cutting it in triangle shapes. As you take each one, turn it this way, and you press it down like this. Ooh. Yeah. So they're all going to end up this shape. Oh, then you see the cool swirl on both sides. Yeah. In Finnish, korva pusti means slapped ears. I don't know why. Are those supposed to be ears? I guess so. Oh. And then I got over here, just straight up icing. So we're just doing cream cheese, icing, sugar, milk, butter, you know the drill. And then we have 13 minutes left on the timer until the giant cinnamon roll is done. Feel very BA test kitchen back there. <laughs> You're Sola, just actually doing your job. <laughs> I was like, that's the ultimate compliment. Yep, the only one who actually works there. Like it freaks me out when Sol is not in the background. It's like, is this a really old video or is she sick? Did something happen to Sola? I already messed it up, Christopher. I didn't melt the butter. You were supposed to? Yeah. It's fine. The big giant cinnamon roll is now cooling. So we're gonna go on to the four minute cinnamon roll. Is this gonna be four minutes? Probably not, but it, go, it goes with the title, I get it. So for these cinnamon rolls, we're actually gonna be making them in the microwave, which is kind of interesting. Never made cinnamon rolls that way before. And we're gonna start with the filling, which is a combination of cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. And since we're only doing two cinnamon rolls, we're gonna be using pretty small amounts. So we have two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon unsalted butter. Get in there. There we go. And then half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Then we mix. Like, is this not the best combination of ingredients? Like right here, just sugar, butter, and cinnamon. Christopher, yeah. did you ever have um, cinnamon and sugar toast growing up? Cinnamon and sugar toast? Yeah. Do you not know what that is? No. It's... I mean, I, I can guess. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but toast, butter, and then cinnamon sugar on it? No? Really? I had cinnamon toast crunch. Yes, it's not the same. Is that what that's based on? Is that a thing? I don't know. I had it growing up as like a like a special breakfast. And then my grandma would like cut it into like little slices. Oh, because you couldn't have peanut butter toast. So that's what they came up with for you. No. Oh, that's cute. No. Tell me this is a thing. This is not just me, right? This is like Australia. They have fairy bread. It's kind of the same thing, but they do sprinkles. They measure my sprinkles? No, they're like pretty sprinkles. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Did I dream this? Now on to the batter. So we are going to be first taking, let's see. Let us see here. Did I get this wrong again? It's fine. It didn't melt the butter again. Again, read the instructions, Rachel. Okay, making dough. Medium bowl, whisk together, egg, vanilla, sugar, and milk until combined. Okay, is there anything melted in there? No, okay. So we got an egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, a tablespoon of granulated sugar, and two tablespoons of whole milk. I'm already like five minutes in at this point. I'm gonna give it a good whisk. Now the interesting part, which is taking 
a cup and a half of pancake mix. And this has all of the leavening agents in it already, so it's gonna act as a good mix to form a dough for these cinnamon rolls. I think it's kind of clever. Good job, Tasty, good job. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time, because I mean, that, that's what I would do with normal dough. So that's what we're gonna do here. And then you want to mix it until it is almost fully combined. All right, now I need to flour my surface. Oh my gosh, I did it again. <laughs> we're gonna take this dough out here. So it said just knead it like a little bit, just so it like forms, you know, a little, little dough ball. So now we're going to roll out this dough. I think she has a specific size. Eight by six inch rectangle, okay. And Chris is egg washing his cinnamon rolls, which they're going in at what, what temp? It was a pretty high temperature, right? Four, 435. Okay, you don't put the sugar on before you put them in the oven. Yep. You do? Wow, right away, okay. Okay, now I'm going to spread out the filling. How is this supposed to be enough filling, Christopher? No, that'll do. Never enough filling. What's your, what's your breaking back there? Sugar cubes. Oh no. I have a leak. The hole. There we go. Now I need to tightly roll it. The whole thing. I'm gonna put the cinnamon roll on a cutting board. Chop it in half here. Mine doesn't look as good. And then we need to add in a teaspoon of water. And I'm going to put them in medium power for a minute 45, and then they need to cool down for another minute. Woo, look, the sugar cubes, that's cute, I like that. And while that's going, I'm just gonna make a little icing sugar. Just a tablespoon of milk and six tablespoons of powdered sugar. Good timing. Just finish the glaze. I don't know if that's done, but maybe? I don't want to overcook it though. So we're gonna let this cool for a minute. Okay, I got my cream cheese icing. You guys want to see the giant cinnamon roll? Look at this thing. Ugh. I love it so much. So majestic. So now we're gonna take the cream cheese frosting and kind of drizzle it over top. Gotta make sure to get the outside. The outside never gets enough icing. It's always the inside, and no one ever wants the outside pieces. It's looking a little messy, but you know what? It's a sign of the times. So we have three different cinnamon rolls here, all of different timing, going from quickest to slowest. Which one should we, should we try first? Mm. Let's start at the end. Okay, work our way down. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Dry. It is dry. It's got cinnamon, it's got sugar, it's got the it's icing got sugar the in the dough, yeah. it's all there. But it's very dry. It's, yeah. Would it be better if it was less time? I can't tell her if it needs more water, because you put water into the, the base oh, to make okay. sure that it doesn't dry out. Because hmm. when we first took it out of the oven, or out of the oven, out of the microwave, we were like, ooh, this doesn't look done but it, like it was right. clearly done. I would cook it for a shorter period of time at 50% and assess. Would you, or would you just not make this under any circumstances? I think I would probably just make pancakes or waffles and put cinnamon sugar on it. Ooh, I'll bet that would be a lot That better. would be good. Okay, I can stand by that. I'm excited yeah. about this. The baked goods of my people, my adopted people. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Oh, real good. Not as sweet. No. As that will be. This to, to me feels like a breakfast pastry. Yes, I, I think so. Do you yep. know what I mean? Yep. The cardamom is very faint. Like I really, if you hadn't told me, I wouldn't have known. It just kind of warms up the taste, mm -hmm. right? It's just kind of a warm spice. Yeah. The texture is really good. Like it's crisp on the top and on the bottom, but nice and doughy in the middle. Really soft. Really soft in the middle. But like the crispiness adds a nice texture mm -hmm. balance. I like that they look impressive. Like they look old school. Yeah, yeah, they're kind of different. Looking. Yeah, I like them. Mm -hmm. These would also be good with the cream cheese frosting though. Right? You know, it would, it would be good. What? A hot cup of strong coffee. Can we have that tomorrow? So 
It's almost tomorrow. <laughs> it's basically tomorrow. <laughs> Coffee time. We'll just stay up the whole night. <laughs> After Leave all it. this sugar, we probably will. <laughs> yeah, I know that would be absolutely 10 out of 10. Yeah. That was, that was really good. How does one cut this? Probably like a pie. Guess so. <sighs> so soft and doughy. Got a little bit of the crispness on the outside. I don't know how big of a wedge to do. And there's still a lot of icing left. I need an adult. <laughs> that does look difficult. Ooh. Okay, that looks impressive. Yeah, it does. Look the cross section there. That is an impressive looking cinnamon roll cake pie. This is a lot of cinnamon roll. That's so much. Yeah. Well, they were saying you could use it instead of like a birthday cake, but like that's still a lot. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I knew I'd like that banana. Really? Yeah, I do. You knew you wouldn't. It's not my favorite. Like I like the banana and I like the cinnamon roll. Together is weird for me. Maybe it's just a me thing though. The outside didn't get crisp. It's very bready, the crust. Oh, is it? Yeah. Mmm. See what I mean? Yeah, it like it does a little bit of like a flaking thing. I think it just kind of steamed too much. Yeah. It, it tastes like freshly made bread from like a bread maker yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But it's definitely like bread, not like cinnamon roll yeah. crispiness. It's impressive looking though. Like It, it is very cool looking. Like, As a birthday cake? That's cool looking. Absolutely. Okay. I would also say um, because it's so thick, you don't get a lot of icing per bite. I think it would be better if you made a ton of icing and then drizzled some on each piece if you're gonna serve it like a birthday cake, mm. that would work. So overall, I feel like texture for the finished one, really good. It's got the crispiness on the outside, so you get that crunch, but it's really soft on the inside. Not too sweet, so you could definitely add some different icings like the cream cheese frosting and stuff would be mm. really good with it if you mm. wanted something sweeter, but it's not too much, which I like. This one, Impressive looking. I'm not on board with the whole banana cinnamon roll thing. I think it's just personal preference though. You like it. So. I like it. Yeah. Is it more monkey bread than mm -hmm. cinnamon roll? Mm -hmm. Cinnamon monkey bread kind of thing? It's got a whole bunch of breads going on there. It's got the banana, it's got the cinnamon, it's got yeah, the monkey, yeah, you know, like it's so. kind of yeah, a, yeah. A, yeah. an amalgamation of all of them. It's good. Not my favorite for the amount of work that goes into it. I was going to say, probably not worth the effort, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't make that again. As I don't think that's better than this, for example, the one that you made, or like a regular cinnamon roll even. Like I bet the 40 minute one is as good as that one. That swami. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even including one. This this one. This one's just uh, clever, but like just do the pancake thing. I think that would, that would be really good. Or make cinnamon sugar toast. That is. So good. Part of my childhood. You know what? This was supposed to have walnuts in it. That would make a big textural difference. How come you didn't put walnuts in? Because I'm allergic. <laughs> How come I haven't had peanut butter in 10 years? That would give you the crunch, mm -hmm. but it still doesn't make up for the fact that the outside tastes like bread, not cinnamon roll. I feel like this was successful in that I need more of those in my life. Thank you for joining us for more baking. If you want to make muffins or cinnamon rolls or try some, maybe try this and tell me if I'm just making it incorrectly, or if there's a way to make it better. Thank you for helping me rediscover my Finnish roots. Oh, you know, this is this is what I do. You are welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, and um, we'll see you all next Saturday. Bye guys. Bye everyone. Mwah! It was really good with the cream cheese frosting. Is it? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. These are good. They're so good.